Hey, welcome back. Today we're drawing our guide block again, but this time instead of orthographic projections, we're going to be drawing it in isometric projection. That's our 30, 60, 90, looking at it straight on at an angle. All right, so let us begin. We're going to start with our very same step that we started when we did our orthographic projection. We're going to start by drawing our front view object lines. All right, and what are our front view object lines? Well, if this is our front view, these here are still the same object lines that we want to actually produce in AutoCAD. You'll see that we have our same dimensions as before. We have a five inch and a half. Going over in this direction, we have a half an inch, down a half an inch, and then same thing, four, half, half, inch and a half. All right, so jumping over to AutoCAD, here's some things that we're gonna have to do to set up our isometric. If you look down here, we have these different options to adjust which plane we're looking in. So we can have ISO left, ISO top, and look what it's doing, right? It's gonna start adjusting our grid in the background. So our front plane's actually going to be our ISO left, our front view, all right? And then one button over here is our polar tracking. Uh, 30, 60, 90 is what we want to have for our isometric view. This is our standard views, or standard angles, I should say, for isometric. And then one more over here, this actually locks us to the 30, 60, 90, or specifically 90 degrees in this view. So if you just look, I'm locked to 90 degrees. And for the drawing we have right now, this is actually gonna be fine, and it will keep us uh, in line with what we're drawing. If you look uh, at our drawing, everything we have there is technically 90 degree, even though it looks like it's angled, 30, 60, 90, uh, it's 90 degrees for that plane. So it's actually gonna work out fine for us to have that locked on. But if you have any curves or something different there, you might not want that locked. All right, so let's begin with our drawing here. This direction here, we had a line of five, enter. Going up, we had 1.5, enter. Coming back towards us, 0.5. Down, 0.5. This way, if those are both 0.5, that means this is a four. Up, 0.5, over 0.5, and this will connect down perfectly right there. And there you go, there's our front view of our guide block. Same thing that we had before, except now we're at that angle, right? Uh, what's our next step? Our next step is just to draw our top lines, or our top view. So let me change to a different color here, and these lines here are going to be the lines that we want to produce in AutoCAD uh, coming out from the corners that we've intersected. This here is our uh, right side view, so we'll hold off on that. But these lines there will produce now and then these circles as well. And we'll actually come back into those circles last. All right, so what do we have to do in AutoCAD? If you go back down here, we can switch to the top plane. And you'll see now that the lines that I draw are going to be locked coming out. Uh, let's, uh, how long are these lines here? These lines are two and a half. All right, so L for line, enter, click on this point, go out. 2.5, enter, enter, enter a bunch of times, 2.5, enter, 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 come out, 2.5, enter, enter, right, enter is repeating our command, come out again, 2.5, enter, enter, to end the command, enter, repeat the command, 2.5, oftentimes I would have done an offset, but an offset actually is not going to work here, and this is uh, going to be our left plane, so we're going to leave that alone. And you'll notice here, we're gonna have lines going top and over. These lines, we're gonna to have to either adjust our plane here, but if you actually look, we'll be able to uh, lock these up if I turn this off here, right? Where we're gonna be able to connect our lines, right? Making sure we have our snap settings on. They'll actually come across. I'm just locked at our ortho. I turned that off there because it wasn't uh, locking before. And this one here, we actually just wanna to go to this point. Keep our extension line here. I'm just going to bring it to there and then we'll actually trim it right because we can't see that back there and then we're pretty much done except for the circles up here with our top plane this here is which plane right that is our right and we'll draw that now so jumping back over uh, what's our next step our next step is to draw our right side well, let's get another color here and here's our right side here All right we're starting to get this shape and what are our dimensions? We have that line already, but what are our dimensions here? We have an inch and a half in between, half inch over here. Uh, this here is a half inch as well. So 
jump back into AutoCAD. We've already switched to uh, the right side plane. So we'll do a line here. Click here, this direction. So this time I just, I'm, I'll use the extension lines instead of having the ortho lock. So this one here is 0.5, enter. Going straight up. Uh, 0.5, enter. This way, going over. How come we're not on here? Going straight over is 1.5, enter, down, 0.5, enter, over, 0.5, enter, and then this should lock in right there. Perfect. Look at that. Uh, only line looks like this missing is this guy tucked underneath here. We can just add that, and that's going to be on this extension line, right? And then we'll just trim them back. TR trim. And look at that. We have an isometric view of our guide block. Couple things missing though still, right? The circles on top. And how do we draw those? We, we just drew a circle now. Look at that. That is definitely not what it looks like. So we're gonna have to do something special here. Let's just make sure we've got everything going on right. All right, so draw any features present on the view. So yeah, so we're up to the circles. So the circles that we need to know where to place them. And they're gonna be on which plane? They're gonna be in our top plane. It looks like we have an inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, and then an inch and a half away from there. So in AutoCAD, I'm going to switch to top plane and we need to place them. I'm going to switch to my uh, center line and I'm actually going to draw all two lines over. I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go over. I'll just snap to there. And this was uh, 1.25 enter and then down. How far down does it go? All right. Get this locked on here. How far down does it go? It went down 1.25. That's not a 2. 2.5, enter, and then the other one went over uh, 1.5. So I'm just getting my center points of my two circles, and it's there and there, right? So how do I draw circles in isometric view? I'm actually going to type in EL for ellipse, hit enter, and you'll notice down on the bottom here, we have iso circle. And that's what we're drawing. We're drawing an isometric circle. And since I'm in my correct uh, plane view here, this ISO circle will be snapping to the point we want. So click here and then look at that. I'm in my wrong layer real quick. So let's change back to here. Uh, EL again, ISO circle. Here's my center point. And what is it saying that it's uh, putting in? It's saying radius or diameter down here on the bottom. And on the drawing sheet, I'm given, I'm given drill holes right here, right? So if I'm given drill holes, those are diameters. So I'm going to go down here to diameter and type in 0.75, enter. There's our first one. Enter, repeat our command. ISO circle, specify center. There it is. Diameter, and our diameter is 0.75, enter. Look at that. I can clean this up, delete those other lines from before. And we have pretty much uh, our isometric view. What is left for us to do here? Well, we need to complete by drawing our center lines and our dimensions. Dimensioning in isometric is definitely a little tricky, and I'll go over that uh, with you guys in a second. But let's get our center lines in, right? Uh, normally, when we did uh, center lines, we would just hit go up to the annotate button and do center mark and center line, right? Not going to work this time. All right. So we just need to actually just connect our points out when we're locked, and if that, let's zoom in a touch, uh, was a three quarter of an inch, we're just gonna go out there, fine, enter, enter, go out, fine, enter, enter, right? Like so. And then we actually need a line going straight up. So I actually gotta turn this off and go straight up uh, 90 degrees and actually down to the point, All right? So now it looks like we've cut through. Same thing is going to happen. Look, it's the same circle. I'm just going to go hit copy, base point right there, mouse over the edge, base point right there. Look at that. I did a copy of the two center points of the circles. All right. The only thing that you guys need to know now that's different from before is dimensioning. Now, if I go into dimensioning and I just go linear dimension here from here to here, that ain't right, right? That's not at all our dimension that we want. If I change it to a line though, it is gonna be right. We want it to be uh, two and a half. And look, it's two and a half. But look at that, it's at a funny angle. So I'm gonna go through 
uh, three dimensions here with you guys, but they're not lined up in the way we want them to be, or at least they're not oriented in the way we want them to be, right? They're at these funny angles. It doesn't look like it's dimensioning in the right view. But they're drawing again, look how it is here. It's uh, nice extension lines coming from the points. So how do we adjust our dimensions in AutoCAD so that it looks that way? Well, if we type in dim and look at a lot down here, it says dim edit. So D-I-M-E-D, -E dim edit. And down here, it gives us some options and it's oblique. So if I click on oblique and now click on one dimension at a time, or if you know a bunch of them are gonna be moving the way you want, click on this one, hit enter. Now I want this one to be going straight down. So if I click on one of the endpoints of the extension line and I just start moving it straight down and click, look, it lined it up in the direction I want. I'm going to hit enter to repeat my command, oblique, click on this one, enter, and now look, I'll go from this corner this time, and I'm going to just start snapping this out. Remember, I'm locked on 30, 60, 90, so my extension line is coming out, and if I click, it moved it. Enter, repeat command, oblique, click on it again, enter, I'm going to click on this point and go out again on my extension line. There you go, All right? So now again, we click and we can line this up a little better here. Right, so that they line up correctly. Now I'm not gonna go through every single dimension with you guys, but that's how you go about dimensioning it. And there you go, I got the center lines when we have a circle. Uh, we want it to go vertically as well. And don't forget the lines to trim. All right, did we do everything we need to do? Uh, put it on title block, I'll leave that to you guys. All right, well, good luck, have fun.